Hi, in this video, I am drawing glass and a metal object, so a glass and a spoon with graphite. Starting out with a gesture drawing to get my measurements down. And you'll notice, obviously I'm not working this fast in real life, so I sped it up. I started out with blocking in some of the shapes of the values that you see in the glass especially because that's what you're going to be drawing um, when you look at a glass don't think of it as a glass just think of it as an object with different shapes of value within it that you see so lightly very lightly draw in those individual shapes of value and i started with the the larger shapes working down to smaller shapes and eventually getting a little more detailed um, so right now, you know, like working on the rim of the glass, remember there is a thickness to the glass, so it's not paper thin, so it won't be just a singular line going around. Um, blocking in big shapes of value that I see and drawing exactly what I see. Don't get caught up in like, oh, this is transparent, so I have no idea how to draw that. Just draw what you see. Um, the same thing goes for when you work on anything that's metal or reflective. There are going to be different reflections in it. So just you do the outline of the object very lightly and then draw in the individual shapes of value that you see reflected in the object. And then you apply the different values in each shape. I am using a tonal method where I'm mostly using the side of my pencil to block in lightly and then eventually adding in my darkest darks. You can see here I'm using the side of my pencil and then I'll go in with the tip and add a little bit of darker shades. I'm not using hatching or cross hatching. It's all continuous tone. It's a very quick sketch. This took me about an hour to draw. Um, And I'm focusing really just on the glass, the spoon, the shadow right next to it. I'm not, there's a beautiful cast shadow. That's something that if you want to get into, um, it's definitely a nice addition. I'm adding a little bit here and there, but it's very rough. And the lighting that you see in my photograph is a little bit different than what I'm actually drawing and seeing because my spoon fell over and my light got bumped. So I had to readjust it and I hadn't photographed it right away. So that's a problem. So you're not seeing an exact um, application, you know, exact image of what I was actually seeing. So I was looking down into the glass a little bit more. So you can see my upper lips is a little bit more open. And my cast shadow is much more extended than what you see in my image. So ignore that <laughs> and just focus on the glass. Um, and if you do this, if you just slowly add in, you know, the different values throughout as you see them from observation, you'll see your glass suddenly appear and it will look transparent and it will look accurate. When it comes to shadows, remember there's a lot of light in the shadow, so look for that. Look at soft transitions. There should be no hard edges, um, and there should be no outlines by the end of this if you're doing it correctly. So if you see that you have a bunch of outlines, how can what does the value next to the outline look like? And pull it into the object. Um, things like spoons, remember it also has a thickness, even if it's really small and very thin, try to accomplish that because that will add to the three-dimensionality of your drawing. And that's a quick little study on drawing glass and a spoon. So I hope you enjoyed this. Remember to just have fun with it and... Don't overthink it. Um, if you make a mistake, you have erasers. So you can see here I'm using mine because I got a big old you know, mess right on the front. 
You can also use your erasers to pull out highlights. Um, also, if you like, you can use a white, either a charcoal pencil or a white Prisma color colored pencil to add in some highlights. It's always a nice touch, um, but have fun. I hope you enjoyed this little video and have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.